All right, and we're back. So it's been a while since um, we last played. Several days, in fact, since the last episode, which you probably noticed had a pretty abrupt ending to it. What happened was that um, my SSD ran out in the middle of filming, so that's teething problems for you. Um, what has happened since, though? Because I did play for a little bit, talking to myself after the last episode, so um, some things happened. First, there's a bear, which had some hawker meat on it. And then uh, I got a level from fighting that bear, which um, I'm not quite sure off the top of my head whether that bear was involved or not, um, at the end of the last episode. But uh, we got a level up, anyway. And where did I put that in? I put that into alteration, and I actually took an amunculi, which lets me use soul gems and dweamer metal pieces to create dwarven spiders. So I'm just further, um, uh, further adopting like the conjuration soul gem um, idea. I'm sure I'm going to pick up lots of soul gems that I don't use for enchantment along the way. So may as well use it for something, right? Um, and now we're just heading up to see the greybeards so that we can get the last piece of unrelenting force. So I'm probably gonna just wander up and hopefully some interesting stuff happens along the way. If it doesn't, I'll cut it out and we'll see how that goes. Alright, I'm back. Um, Nothing much eventful has happened so far, but I just wanted to talk about a couple of things. The first of all, as where are the modeling videos? Well, I'm still battling with the ISP, so it's actually really difficult for me to um, upload things at the moment. And the only reason I'm uploading Skyrim videos is at the moment is because they're really easy to do comparatively to the tutorial videos that I have to do um, in getting them uploaded. I really want to upload the... Um, tutorial videos at the same time as each other. So the Blender one and the 3DS Max one should be up uploaded at the same time as each other so no one has to kind of miss out. So you're either both missing out or you're both getting tutorial videos and that's really the way that I want to do it. Um, the second thing of, that I wanted to talk about was um, that I'm thinking about doing a Baldur's Gate playthrough. Now if you don't know what Baldur's Gate is. It's a really old but really popular um, uh, RPG, party-based RPG. Um, Semi-turn-based. It's not really turn-based. If, if you think about... Um, oh, here we go. Forgetting things. There was that game that came out with the dragons and the witches and... Um, not Skyrim. Um... And there was a second one, and the second one was really bad. It's that game. I'm sure somebody out there in the comments will know what game I'm talking about. Um, but you could almost play that like it was a turn-based game by pausing and unpausing while you play. Um, because you had the ability to give commands. Anyway, Baldur's Gate. Really awesome old game. I have never played it. Now that's interesting because I am a maniac for older games. I was born in 87 so I kind of grew up in that area but somehow I missed Baldur's Gate um, and I'm a big RPG fan um, so I really want to do a playthrough but do you guys think I should record it? Should I record my very first playthrough of Baldur's Gate? I'm not going to be using guides or FAQs I'm just going to be stumbling around that world with my party and my character and um, we'll see how that goes. Uh, but I would really like to know whether you guys want me to record that. Whether I should start doing a Rax plays of Baldur's Gate. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. And we're nearly to the graybeards. I'm probably just going to cut here and um, come back once we're inside the temple. Um, so yeah, we'll see you soon. Alright, here we are in the Greybeard's Temple, High Hrothgar, High Hrothgar, um, and currently I'm just standing by the fire trying to warm up because my character started to freeze on the way up. Fair enough, it's a big snowy mountain. You feel chilly. Yes, well, I was freezing to death a moment ago. 
Uh, you may notice that the screen is slightly blurry. That is an effect of Frostfall. Um, the colder you are, the more distorted your vision becomes. It's kind of just a little bit of an immersion factor. Um, but I'm just going to wait until I'm really comfortable and then I'm going to talk to our friend over there and get the last piece of Unrelenting Force. Super exciting! And then we can go... I think what our next task will be is we'll go to the Mages Guild. I want to try and become the Arg Mage because I have a mod installed called Corintha's Tower and I really want to secure a home so I'm not carrying around all my gear with me. Um, and... Being at the Mages Guild, I can store my stuff in the meantime in my little um, apprentice alcove. So, um, where are we? Exposure 20. I'm good. I am all warmed up now. We'll talk to our friend wherever he is. He's somewhere in High Hrothgar. Is it, are you Arangar? No, you're Wolfgar. Arangar, where are you? Oh. Ah. You've retrieved the horn of Jorgen Runko. Yes, I did. Well done. You have now passed all the trials. Come with me. It is time for us to recognize you formally as Dragonborn. That would be fantastic. You might need to cover your ears. to learn the final word of unrelenting force. Da, which means push. Da. With all three words together, this shout is much more powerful. Use it wisely. Master Wolfkar will now gift you with his knowledge of Da. speak to you. Stand between us and prepare yourself. Few can withstand the unbridled voice of the Greybeards, but you are ready. the voice of the Greybeards and passed through unscathed. High Hrothgar is open to you. And there we have it. We have complete um, unrelenting force. Hooray! Um, so I just remembered something that I was going to do for all of you and I can't believe I forgot but um, if I hit escape, go to settings, display, brightness. Oh boy, I'm sure you guys are going to really love that one. A lot of you were saying in the comments in the last video, well, the video before the last one, that the um, interiors were a bit dark, and I have to agree, it's a YouTube thing. Um, when YouTube compression uh, happens to your videos after you upload them, it seems that the contrast goes way up. So, or rather the contrast of dark areas goes way up. Or way down, depending on how you look at it. So dark areas get darker. Uh, light areas don't necessarily get lighter though, which is the strange thing. Which is what would normally happen if you put contrast up. Um, anyway, I'm going to run down this mountain as quickly as I can, because I really don't like to freeze to death. Um, and then we're going to head off to uh, Winterhold. Although I haven't been there before, so I can't catch a carriage. It's one of my rules. I have to journey there by horse or on foot. 
Um, so we're gonna see what we can get up to on the way to the Mages Guild. And obviously, we're gonna become Archmage because, you know, Jade is just so amazing. She is like the best mage in the universe, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> Running very slowly, very slowly, I'm running very slowly. I'm so glad the troll doesn't respawn. Fight with the frost troll up here is always nightmarish when you're a really low level character. Oh, I've left Lydia behind. I'm sure she'll catch up. If you're wondering why I've got my torch out, Frostfall um, does actually register when you have a torch. So you do freeze just that little bit slower when you have a torch out. And I really need to get hold of some winter gear for this character. Some like full exposure protection gear. Um, speaking of which, I wonder whether we've got wear on at the moment. Just make sure. But that is how it is. Uh, Frostfall. Overview. No. Ah, I do have wear on. Wear is... It changes how much protection you receive from clothing. So like furs, you'll receive full exposure protection. Now, full exposure protection doesn't mean that you have 100% resistance to getting cold. It just means that you... It has the most resistance to getting cold. Um... And then you have partial protection, and then you have no protection. Uh, hi guys. Have... Flash. Uh, something that Dragonborn does, or immersive creatures, I'm not quite sure which. Whoa! Okay, I wasn't expecting that. So yeah, as I was about to say, something that Immersive Creatures does, or um, Dragonborn, I'm not quite sure. It adds Reeklings, which are little blue men and boars, back to the land of Skyrim. Um, and I'm sure at some point this character is going to go to Solstheim, and then you'll see all about it. Oh yeah, on the way up I had a little fight with some boars that you didn't get to see, and some reeklings. This is a reekling, little blue man. Um, so, I'm just going to cut until something interesting happens and I'll be right back. Alright, so here we are outside the Vilmare Inn, where I've just been warming up, and I'm on my horse, and we're going to head off to go north. Um, I think we'll pass through Windhelm, just so that I can say I've been there. Um, and then we'll follow and let me pull up the map so we're gonna go down this way and we're gonna hopefully go around the the hot springs and up along until we hit Windhelm and then from Windhelm I think we're gonna take the long way around to get to Winterhold I want to kind of try and avoid as much trouble as possible on the way there um, because there's quite a lot of trouble on the way there uh, and we're going to head out under the cover of night, just so that hopefully there's less trouble on the roads. Um, but it does mean that we can't leave the beaten track all that much. Because in my experience, in Skyrim at least, things are worse off the road at night, whereas things are worse on the road during the day. Um, Yeah, as far as interesting things go, I think we'll just avoid, um, we'll just avoid as much as possible, which means it might be quite a boring uh, thing to watch, so I'll cut when I can, like now. Alright, I've just hit the bottom of the hill, 
or the mountain, and uh, going around the outside of the hobbles. Nothing particularly interesting has happened yet. Uh, I did run across a frostbite spider, but it's a frostbite spider. It's mm, not particularly interesting. Um, and I guess we'll just keep on going and see if anything interesting catches our eye. Wolves, maybe. A wolf. And uh, wolf. whoa, um, that's a vampire. That is definitely a hybrid soul cultist, huh? Oh my. Well. Hmm. That's the one thing I don't like about horses. You take forever to get off. And while you're getting off your horse, you are completely and utterly vulnerable. It's the same thing about when you get knocked down. Um, it's fine and all to be thrown about, but then the actual process of your character getting on their feet takes forever. And that whole time, you're completely vulnerable. Um, it wouldn't be so bad if we weren't completely vulnerable while that was happening, but it's not the case. And now we're back here, so I'm just gonna cut, and I'm gonna come back once there's... once we're back there, I guess. Okay, so we're back by those particular runes, and I am going to quick save right now. I'm actually gonna get off my horse, because I am going to hope against all hope that our friend is not there. Oh. I do see spells being cast. Oh dear. Oh yeah. Oh. In fact, I think it's maybe even more dangerous now. What the heck just happened? She swapped places with me. Whoa! Thank you, Lydia. Oh my god, my savior. Oh wow. Um. Ow. <sighs> Hybrid soul coldest. This must be immersive creatures. You do count as a vampire. That's interesting to know. Oh, sometimes I wish certain things didn't count as light armor. Those boots look cool. Um. Oh, for those that have picked up on it already, yes, I have been attacked by cultists. Um, as you can see, let me just turn my character around. <laughs> I am in fact wearing some cultist robes because, well, they were better than the ones that I had. Um, and it's raining and my character's getting wet, which makes me think I should actually camp. Um, so let me go and get some wood. Where are survival skills? Here. I would like to harvest wood. Harvest firewood. Perfect. I think it's six that you need to build a fire. There we go. We'll take that six firewood. And then, I think we'll just camp over here, looks good. Build campfire. Oh. Right there, looks good. So this is part of um, Frostfall as well. You can, oh it was six. Uh, you can build and pitch tents, uh, build campfires and pitch tents and that allows you to stay warm and dry uh, which is quite nice. Now I just need to find where I put my tent. Small leather tent. There we go. I want to pitch it please. And then when you're pitching things, yellow means that it the tent is warm so it's by a fire source. Blue means it's not 
by a fire source, but you can still place it. And red means that it's not by a fire source and you can't place it. Um, so now we just wait for the tent to be pitched, I guess. There we go. Well, I kind of built that funny. Let's just ignore that. And I'm going to lay down. You take off your gear and you lay down properly. My character's got an interesting sleeping style. And then I guess I'll sleep. How long do we want to sleep for? It's 3 a.m. Uh, we'll go for a five hour sleep. Hopefully it'll stop raining. Doesn't sound like we've stopped raining. <laughs> oh dear. But I'm not wet. Uh, the tent did protect me. Um, so that's good. And I want to get up, please. You pick up all your gear. You put it back on. And then we want to pack up the tent. And I'll destroy the campfire. And we have a wolf friend, so let's take care of this wolf friend. Easy peasy. And I'll be taking that pelt, thank you very much. Alright, so what does wetness do for Frostfall? Well, it makes your character get colder quicker. Um, which is bad, because you don't want to get really cold at all. You get really cold, then you start to lose all your stamina, you start to get all sorts of nasty negative effects. It's just a bad deal. Whoa, what's that? A weird bear? Uh oh, okay. Uh, quick save. Hello, Mr. Weird Bear. Meet Flash. <laughs> Buddy, are you here? Kind of. You are acting very strange. Um. Uh, you will have to kill it. Buddy, I'm sorry. Mr. Weirbear? Oh dear. Oh dear. <laughs> And this is what I mean about being knocked out, down and it taking forever for you to stand back up. See that? I had no control while that was happening. And that just took forever. I think what we'll do is we'll take our new unrelenting force. We'll find our bear friend. And we'll shout at him. And he gets right back up so quickly. It's nuts. Okay, and that's why we quick save. <laughs> I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this. Um, especially when Lydia's being a coward. Right, Lydia? Hey, Lydia. Yes, I know. Just tell her to go forward a bit. Maybe I can even direct her to attack this. Ow. Lydia, what are you doing? Hmm? What do you mean? Can't do that. Sorry. Can't do that. Sorry. Why can't you do that exactly? Can't do that. <sighs> you know who's not afraid? Hmm, no. never mind. Flash isn't afraid. Flash is danger. Not like a weak mortal human. Okay, so let's try that again. Uh, just make sure I've got unrelenting force. 
And then, I guess what we'll do. Who's Roda? Make sure we get as much off and then run away. I'm not risking that again. I wonder what that shout does. I'm sure it makes Lydia run away, but what does it do to me? Because it doesn't come up in my... Uh... Lydia. <sighs> You're useless. I think we're going to move you forward, Flash. Much better. Much, much, much better. <laughs> and this is why I like Conjuration. And you had absolutely nothing of worth on you. That's a pity. No, Lydia, would you? Oh, good. You are. Great. Oh... Okay, it's daytime. It's no longer raining. We just killed a werebear. Hopefully things will go a lot smoother from now on. Um... Ye... Yeah. Hmm... I'm not quite sure who you are or why you wanted to kill me, but... You look like you might have been hunting before. What with the dead wolf. Oh, it's such a nice day out. In the terrible distance terrain. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut here, make sure I get to where we're going, and I'll be right back. In actual fact, I know we didn't get a lot done, but uh, it's already been nearly 30 minutes, so I'm going to uh, end the episode here, this nice, picturesque little lumber mill. Alright guys, thanks for watching, and hopefully we'll make it to Windhelm next episode. See you soon. Bye.